the acoustic guitar is really the main part for the whole song, and it's really pretty easy. There are only a few chords you have to learn. For example, the song starts out with that simple G to A minor 7 that I just played. Follow my strumming pattern. One, two, three, four. time. Two, three, four. One very important thing on the recording, there are two acoustic guitars. One of them is tuned to Nashville tuning, which means the bottom three strings are replaced with thinner strings and each tuned up an octave. That eliminates your bass range, but it gives you a doubled 12 string effect that you hear on the recording. The other thing is that there's a second acoustic guitar and although he pretty much doubles a lot of what the first guitar is doing, there's an important fill that's played over every single G chord pretty much in the entire song. So while one guitar plays the G chords like this, there's a fill that goes like this. One, two. Okay, comes in on the third beat of the measure. It's a G sus. And that leads into whatever the next chord is, in this case A minor. Or A minor 7. So again the fill is one, two. So what I like to do is I like to put the two together because that's not hard to do. So as I demonstrate the song, I'll be playing something like this. Two, three, four. Now let's look at the verse. The verse starts on a B minor chord. To the G figure. Again, the G figure. A minor. To C. One, two, three. Now let's like take a look at that. That was measure 11. That was C. And then on the fourth beat was a D chord. I've noticed in this song, whenever there's a change on the fourth beat, um, Keith pretty typically strums 16th notes like this. One, two, three. Right? Same thing in measure 13, which is D to C, but the C is on the fourth beat, so measure 13 is like this. The only other chords that you're going to play in this song is, let's take a look at the chorus. Let's play through the chorus together. This is starting at measure 22. It starts on an A minor chord, and it's like one, two, three, four. Three, F bar. in the entire song is an F add 9, and that's the first chord of the interlude, measure 32 in your music. You'll notice when I do that, I hold the F9, and when I move to C, I only move two fingers keeping the C and the G on top the whole time.
Now let's take a look at some of the lead fills that Keith plays throughout the song. On the intro, he opens with this beautiful country style lick like this. So that's starting in the 10th position. One more time. One, two. To get that nice even sound, I use all down strokes. I'm picking very lightly and I slur. comes in in the second measure. The song starts on G. Now let's move to the verse. In the verses and the chorus, Mick tends to play his solo fills derived from chord fingerings. The first chord of the song is B minor. over those chords. Everything he's playing is right out of those chord shapes. He starts right on a B minor chord, just the upper strings, plays a little melody, leading into a G chord a little fill off the G chord, and he plays B minor. So it's important to see that in this style, it's really good to play directly over the chord that's, playing, that's being played at the time. Use those chord shapes to your advantage. In measure 9, again, he's right on the G chord, and that's going to move down to A minor. to C, two, three. Let's look at that. That was measure 11. The uh, chord progression is a C chord. One, two, three, four, and he's playing a C chord. Two, three. So he's playing C. On the fourth beat for the D chord, he grabs a D chord. It's a one finger bar. This D chord here is the middle notes of your D bar chord. He's using his first finger and he's arpeggiating it and resolving it to the G chord. That's a G chord. C, D, Then in measure 13, which is again is a D chord, he grabs a D position and plays. So it's all out of the D and he uses the open E to make a nice melodic effect. Let's play that from measure 6 in your music. This is the verse. One, two. Three, four. After that, you can just keep improvising in that style. Remember, always use the chord shapes as a basis. <laughs> 